wanted to be a judge who knows just what is right and wrong and be good and be strong and on my swan up in the air I'm flying searching for justice can't just see me trying right is the reason I go on it is it's Mr. Beagles it doesn't count it but I just feel that way because I am the lawyer who's defending Mr. Mouse yes but it's sir Push it, but because I'm a good liar, I know what we can do. Let's hear the judge. Yes, because only our friend Klaus can solve it. How I get myself involved in such controversial decisions, I'll never know. But as long as they came to me to solve the problem, I solved it in the way I thought most reliable. Judge! Huh? Judge! Danny, Bruna, say, why aren't you two out enjoying this sunny weather that we've been having? Hmm? We have been out most of the morning. We need your help. Bruna and I want to organize a big spring feast, and we'd like to know if you and Juliana would lend us a hand. There's just so much work to do, lots more than we can handle. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Why are you pointing toward the window? It's not really the window I'm pointing to, but the sky outside. You see, it's going to be filled with rain clouds soon, so your feast will have to be postponed. I saw no rain clouds. Oh, I know that, but you will. The sky will fill with great gray clouds, and the rain will come down in buckets, Bruna, so you'll have to postpone your feast, eh? What are you talking about, Judge? The weather has been beautiful. I know that, but it's still going to rain, Danny. You see, I've arranged for it to happen. How could you make arrangements for it to rain? Ah, it's very simple. As you both should know, we've had a drought, and we can't do anything without rain and water for very long. No, my goodness. In fact, young man, if you'd been at the trial I presided over this morning, you would know exactly what I was talking about regarding these arrangements. Uh, well, uh, you see, it was such a warm and sunny day that I thought I'd take a little time off. And you see, there was the feast to think about, and, uh, sorry. Apology accepted. Now let me fill both of you in on the trial's outcome. Lawyer for the gnomes, you may approach and give your summation. As I have shown this morning, Your Honor, this horrible drought has almost strangled the forest. The trees and flowers have wilted, and the grass is dry and in danger of burning. And it can all be blamed on them, the frogs of the forest. Be quiet. Silence. Continue, please. Ah, now they're croaking. But I ask you, Your Honor, why haven't these frogs been croaking for the last two months like they're supposed to do? Now, as we all know, for it's written in the secret book of the gnomes, our life-giving rain is brought about by the constant croaking of frogs. But for two months, these frogs have grown lazy and refused to croak, hence no rain. Silence! Now, because you're here, they're croaking. Well, if you order them to keep it up, then we'll have rain. I thank you for your summation. Here is my... And so, you see, I took the lawyer's suggestion into consideration and ordered the frogs to croak until I ask them to cease or until it starts to rain. The frogs have obeyed my order, and the secret book of the gnomes doesn't lie. I hate to be a wet blanket and all that, but your feast will have to be postponed because I am certain it is going to rain any time now. Uh, I don't mean to be disrespectful, Judge, but it's not really very scientific to think that it's the croaking of frogs that makes it rain. <laughs> That's just an old wives' tale. You think the secret book of the gnomes would lie about such a thing? You have to admit that parts of the book are very outdated. And parts of it aren't. I'll help you with your feast, but don't say I didn't warn you about the rain. Now you've got the spirit. Come on, we want to show you the spot we've picked out to hold the feast. Danny and I 
haven't chosen the most enchanting part of the forest, Klaus. Just wait till you see it. It's a clearing surrounded by trees with plenty of room for dancing. Hmm. I just know it's going to rain. I'm sure of it. Sorry to say, you're letting yourself in for a disappointment. We'll see. What a handsome frog you are. Hello. You see, they're carrying out my order and we'll see those rain clouds anytime. You mark my words. The spot we chose is just up ahead by the stream. The frogs are so melodic. I hope they sing for the feast. At least they're cooperating in carrying out my orders. You see how valuable a good rain would be? The roots of this tree are showing because the water level of the stream is down. Without water, this tree will die. Well, that tree's pretty old anyway. Huh? <laughs> there are lots of trees. It's disappointing to me that you're my assistant, and yet you place more importance on a party than you do on a drought that could have a long-range negative effect on our community, Danny. There's your stream up ahead. Come on. These fish have no water, but I suppose there's nothing we can do about it. Danny, it's our responsibility as lovers of all living things to bring these poor fish to a place where they can survive. We'll take them to the river where there's more water. Danny, run home and ask Juliana for a big pot and bring it back for me. That's a good idea, Klaus. Be right back. Hurry, don't worry, little fishes. We'll get oh. you out of there in no time. Boy, we need that rainstorm. Juliana, where are you? Juliana! She must be out walking. It certainly is a lovely day for a stroll in the forest. Ah, perfect. This basin will fit three fish easily. See what I mean about our needing rain, Bruna? I hadn't realized how bad this drought's become. Ah, here's Danny. <coughs> what took you so long? Come on. Well, I didn't want to spill the water. Ah. <coughs> Ooh. There. See, they're reviving. Now let's get them to the river. Our plans for the feast are getting all fouled up. Let's not mention that feast until these fish are safe. Hmm. That's right. Uh, uh, you shouldn't be thinking of yourself at a time like this, Danny. Uh, I'm sorry. You're forgiven. Now let's go. <clears throat> now these ingredients will make a wonderful soup. I've got oregano, mint, jasmine, and fennel, all the ingredients that Danny and Klaus love. Huh? I could have sworn I left my soup tureen here. Uh, is it under the table? No. It seems like that pot has disappeared into thin air. Oh, I wouldn't have left it in here. It must have been stolen by a burglar. Well, I'm going to go out and find him. Oh, hmm. Now I see where my pot went. It's those three. Well, I like the nerve of those three. Come on, just a little bit farther. We're almost to the river. That's it, Thieves! just a little bit farther. Stop, We're almost... Oh, huh? stop right there, you hooligans! It's Juliana. What do you gnomes think you're doing? If you three think you're going to have a big laugh playing a joke on me, you've got another thing coming. And Klaus, you ought to know better. What are you talking about? Play innocent mm -hmm. with me, you know darn tootin' well what I'm talking about. But Juliana, we were just taking those fish. You were just stealing my soup pot. That's what you were doing. I'm never going to cook another meal if you don't bring it back to the house this instant. Huh? Ah, uh, <laughs> Mr. Fish, you gave me such a fright. Here, back in the water where you belong. Why are you keeping them in there anyway? Their stream has dried up because of the drought, so we're taking them to the river where there's water, and that's why we needed your pot. It's an excellent idea, but you didn't have to steal my soup pot. You know how touchy I get about these things. If you'd have asked me for it first, I would have gladly given it to you. Why didn't you ask her? Uh, well, she wasn't at home, Bruna, and considering the time was of the essence, I decided to make what you might call an executive decision. Why don't you make another executive decision and lead us to the river so we can save these fish? Thank goodness there's still plenty of water here. Into the river you go, little fishes. Ah! Goodbye, Take care little now, fishies. Take care. Take care. Take care. Goodbye. Say, maybe you should teach those fish how to croak to help the frogs make it rain. Very funny, Danny. Look there, up river. What 
whatever it? could it be? Now that it's coming closer, it appears to me like a kind of boat, but I've never seen one that looks like that one. The boat huh? looks unfamiliar to you because you haven't been studying the geography books I uh -oh. gave you. It's a sampan from oh. China. Well, if it's from China, how'd it get here? By traveling over the Pacific Ocean. Good day, I am Ring Chi. My name is Bruna, and this is Juliana. It is a great honor to meet you. Mm -hmm. Be sure to bow. The Chinese are very ceremonious. Good afternoon. I am Judge Klaus Ling Chi, and this is my assistant, Danny. Danny? How do you do? Ah, uh, Judge, I am glad to find you. Here, please read this. Danny, we must leave for China immediately, right away. Ling Chi and his Chinese brothers are in trouble and need our help. Oh, China? I'd love to go, but I don't know if I could take all that bowing. This is most urgent, Judge Kraus. It's the trolls. They destroy the Great Wall. Oh. Those trolls destroy anything that they put their filthy paws to. We must hurry, as my sampan is very slow. It took me many days to get here, and because of the changing currents, it will take even more time for us to make the return trip. Don't worry. We'll fly, my Chinese brother. I have a swan swift as the wind. We'll make it to your country in no time. I guess this means we're going. We must leave immediately. But Ling Chi has had a long trip. He must be tired and hungry after a long journey like that. Can it wait for a day? At least stay for dinner. No. Huh? huh? I thank you for the offer, but I promised my brother gnomes in my home land that I would return as swiftly as possible with the good Judge Kraus and his assistant. Fine. You see, Danny, oh. you're already well known in China. Do be careful. Don't worry. We can look out for ourselves. Still no rain. Okay, Henry, let's go. Bye, have a so set trip. It's going to rain. How do you know? Danny, what? look. See those dark clouds forming? Those are rain clouds. Hooray! Oh. 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 Bruna, oh. Juliana, look, it's going to rain. It's going What's to rain. What's he yelling about? It sounded something like bale the hay, but we don't have any hay to bale, but we do have a feast to prepare for. The frog's croaking worked. It's going to rain. Is something the matter? No, nothing's the matter if you believe in an old wives' tale. Wives' tale? Here we are in China, flying over the Great Wall that the men of China built over 2,000 years ago. Everything seems so peaceful, as it always does in Asia. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look over there. It's those trolls again. Henry, land in that clearing there. Don't worry, Ling Chi. We'll find a way to put a stop to this. <sighs> Mother. Welcome back, son. This is Judge Klaus and his assistant, Danny. Klaus, Danny, my mother and father. Greetings. Greetings. It's, it's an, an honor, honor to, to meet, meet you. you. Greetings. We are mm. grateful you could travel all this way to help. When our brother gnomes are in trouble, it's our duty to respond. What these trolls are doing is beyond belief. Yes, we've seen the destruction, and I'm ready to formulate a plan of attack immediately. In China, it is traditional that we first offer you the hospitality of our home. I have anticipated your arrival and prepared a delicious Chinese meal for you. Stupendous Chinese food! That's my favorite! <laughs> Would you like some more tea, Danny? Oh, yeah! Klaus? Yes, please. Father? Thank you, son. How long have the trolls been bothering you? Let me answer that by first giving you the history of the wall. Men built it as both a monument and for protection against enemies. In fact, although a countless number of men toiled many, many years to build it, it was left unfinished. Though we had no part in building the wall, we love it as our own. Our children play on it, and in summer months, we older gnomes like to take shelter from the sun in its shade. Oh, oh, trolls! Let's get out of here! Not long ago, the trolls arrived. Oh. I like to take things I like to, break things I like to, shake things I like to, I like to... Uh... Oh, why don't you just shut up? You made me, chicken. What? I love to break things I love to... <laughs> <laughs> Who put that wall there? <laughs> he stubs his toe and cries like a baby. <laughs> huh? Huh? Who are you calling a baby? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you two laughing at? <laughs> Off and away. <laughs> so how do you two laugh? 
like it. That wall is a lot harder than your head, isn't it? Oh, somebody built this wall here. This wall hurt us. We should destroy it. Good idea. Oh, boy, yeah, good idea. I love to destroy things. I love to shake things. I love to break things. I love... Shut up! Destroy this wall. Hey, wait for me. Not only is a part of culture being destroyed, they are putting life in danger. The weighty tumbling stones caused havoc among our wildlife. They're everywhere! <laughs> they also hurled those same stones upon us and our homes. If we do not put an end to this trouble, our life in the forest will continue to be a nightmare. And that is the whole story. There's no getting around it. We have a problem. Dinner is ready. There. Wow, it smells wonderful. What is it? The dish is called chop suey. I make it with field mushrooms, hummingbird eggs, and other vegetables. Delicious. If it's so delicious, why don't you start eating? Can I have a fork? I can't eat with these. <laughs> this is China, Danny. We have no forks here, only chopsticks. Come on, Danny. It's simple as pie. Just watch me and do as I do. Simple for you, but not for me. <laughs> Exquisite! <laughs> I don't understand it. I was up all night trying to come up with a solution to the problem, but no solution would come. It's strange. It's so unlike this to occur. Don't worry, Ling Chi. Sooner or later, he'll come up with something ingenious. I trust it will be very much sooner than later. Who's that oh. over there? Let's go see. Young man, what has happened here? They broke it! They broke it! Uh, the troll! They... We were... Flying our kite when they came with a very big stone! Don't worry, my young friends. A paper kite can always be replaced. They know not how lucky they are. It could have been them the troll smashed to pieces. Hmm... We'll use a dragon. What do you mean? That's how we'll scare the trolls. We'll need to get everyone's cooperation and get started right away. We'll need plenty of the same materials it took to build this little dragon kite, except, of course, in much larger amounts. Hurry, we haven't got a moment to lose. Excellent work. Excellent. They really know they're dragons. Mmm, the head is finished and we are all ready to attach it to the body. Oh, that's scary. It makes my knees tremble just to look at it. Ah, it's perfect. Now all we have to do is take it to the wall and put my plan into action. Let's go. Shut up! Ah, come on, Holland, my theme song! Hey, look at that up there! Oh, what is it, Pooley? Um, Will it eat us? I don't know. Let's get closer and have a look. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, it's big! Must be dead, it's not moving. No! Think I'm dead? Bed. Please don't eat us! Yes, I'm going to eat you because you've been destroying my wall! Eat you all up! Please don't eat us! We'll do anything you say! Anything? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
Yes, we'll do anything that you say. We swear. All right, then. If you foul creatures gather up all the stones you ruthlessly ripped from my great wall, bring them here and repair the damage you caused, I might not eat you. We'll do exactly as you wish, almighty dragon. We'll make it as good as new. <laughs> Better than new. Then we'll leave and never return. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At that rate of speed, those chicken-hearted bullies will not only fix what they've damaged, they'll complete what those men didn't finish 2,000 years ago. Well, a yearly feast of the dragon will be extra special. Turn to the Great Wall again! But weren't you scared? No, just all in a day's work. But those horrible trolls could have eaten you alive. Not those four trolls. They were so obedient and frightened, they couldn't wait to get away. I don't know how my people and I can ever thank you enough. We must think of a way to repay you and Danny for your help. That won't be necessary, as it's our duty as judge and assistant to come to the aid of our brothers when they are in need of it. Our Feast of the Dragon goes on for three more days. Can you stay? We'd love to, but unfortunately, Danny and I have pressing matters at home that we must attend to, so... Okay, any other questions? After you Oh, there, the Danny! Huh? It's time we got going! Leaving so soon? Well, duty calls! <laughs> Tale, is it? Hey, Juliana, Juliana, Bruna, we're home. Klaus, it hasn't stopped raining since you left. We called off the feast. I've just come from the best feast I've ever been to. Chinese style, stupendous food, beautiful fireworks, and the most gorgeous women I've seen since that time <sighs> we traveled to... Oh, I don't mean to say they were gorgeous in the way you're gorgeous. None of them could hold a candle to you, Bruna. Oh, you're making me angry! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's back to work for me, Danny. So what's the first thing we have on the agenda? Well, how about telling all those frogs they can stop croaking? <laughs> <laughs> Our next exciting episode begins calmly enough with a rousing birthday party for young Marta. Until Klaus gets an urgent message from his brother gnomes from the European country of France. The unusual problem our friends are called on to solve deals with rescuing a baby skunk who's fallen down a hole. Little do the gnomes know that those pesty trolls have followed them. And when they get involved in the situation, the real dilemma begins. Keep on. 